Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So this is about TJ Dillashaw and Henry Cejudo, and Henry Cejudo beat the friggin' brakes off of TJ Dillashaw, man. I mean, there was literally nothing that TJ Dillashaw did to Henry Cejudo in this fight. The only strike that he got off was a leg kick where he did like a calf kick, but after that, dude, Henry Cejudo pretty much did everything he wanted to do in this fight. TJ Dillashaw tried to come in with a straight right. And when he came in, he was clinched up with Cejudo for a quick second. And Cejudo just manhandled his ass, pushed his ass down to the floor. Homie went to get up. He head kicked him. He partially blocked the head kick. Henry Cejudo came with the overhand right, knocked TJ off balance. You could tell it clipped him a little bit because it did knock him off balance. And Henry Cejudo just jumped on his ass and just started beating the friggin' brakes off of his ass, dude. Every time TJ Dillashaw tried to get up, Henry Cejudo clipped him one time when TJ Dillashaw was getting up. Homie just fell back to his knees and he tried to get back up again and Henry Cejudo just poured it on his ass and freaking ended up getting the ref to end up stopping it dude Henry Cejudo was just ground and pounding his ass to freaking hell on the real man but yo it was a freaking entertaining ass fight and it was a very shocking fight but the one thing that I did see in this fight is I'm not sure how strong TJ Dillashaw was going into this fight because, like I said, when he came in with that right hand and he got clinched up with Cejudo for a second, Cejudo just pushed his ass down like friggin' nothing, like, get the hell up off me, man. And as soon as he did that, it was just game over, dude. Dillashaw tried to get up to recuperate. And Henry Cejudo didn't give him time to do anything, dude, and just literally ran through his ass, dog. But TJ Dillashaw better be glad that his belt wasn't on the line. But after this, I can see Henry Cejudo going up to the 135-pound division and getting a rematch with him again, except it being for TJ Dillashaw's belt. And even in the earlier video that I put out on this fight, one of my main concerns about TJ Dillashaw was... What is he going to look like at 125? Because none of us have ever seen him at 125. Is he going to be weak? Is he going to have a lot of energy? Is his strength going to be sapped? And another thing that I had a concern about is, like I said in my last video, this fool gets clipped in every friggin' fight that he's in. The only fight that I haven't seen him get clipped in was the John Lineker fight. But every other fight that I've seen him in, I always see that fool get clipped. And I said in my first video, if he friggin' goes in here, not respecting Henry Cejudo's hands, he might get clipped because this dude Cejudo got some friggin' heat on him, dog. When that fool throws, he be throwing some friggin' fire heat, man. And it felt like TJ Dillashaw felt some of that damn heat, man. But if you guys haven't seen this fight, it's only like friggin' 30 seconds or something like that. But make sure you go to check it out. That 30 seconds would be more than worth it, all right? So I hope you like the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any kind of questions, any kind of comments, make sure to hit me up in the comment section. I'll be sure to hit you guys up, all right? So I hope you like the video. Holla at your boy.